In this video, I'll be talking about the long run equilibrium of the industry and the firm. Now, the uh, uh, firm will be in the equilibrium uh, when they have adjusted. And I will say that I will write it down. The firms uh, will be in equilibrium. Firms will be in equilibrium. when they have adjusted their their plant so as to produce so as to produce on the minimum point on the long run average cost curve average cost curve so the firm as will be in the equilibrium when they adjust their plants um, so as to produce on the uh, minimum point on the long run average cost curve as we have explained in the previous videos that how do the firms actually adjust their plants to reach the uh, lowest amount of the uh, on the long run average cost curve now uh, in the uh, so now uh, one another important point that i want to mention is that in the long run the firms will be only earning the normal profits so in long run firms will be earning normal profits now uh, initially if the firm is uh, firms are earning the super normal profits there will be entry of the uh, more firms into the into the perfect competition because there is free entry and exit and uh, because of the increase in the supply the there will be a downward pressure on the prices that will uh, that will uh, push down the price will push down the prices and the firms will uh, reach down the normal uh, profit level in the long run now let me take the uh, uh, let me take the uh, quantity demanded on the uh, x axis and i will take the uh, price on the y axis and to determine the uh, equilibrium price in the quantity so this is my x axis and this is my quantity demanded and this is going to be my y axis and this is going to be my price now let me change the thickness okay now uh, this is going to be my uh, demand and this is going to be my supply so and because of the interaction of the demand and the supply this turns out to be the equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price so equilibrium quantity and the equilibrium price now this is my industry equilibrium this is how the industry trains the equilibrium now let me talk about the firm over here and let me make up the graph of the firm where i take the amount of output produced by the firm on x-axis and the price on the y-axis and the firms are price takers so go, they are going to take the price that is determined by the industry so this is my price is equal to average revenue is equal to marginal revenue now suppose initially uh, if the firms are making earning the super normal profits there will be uh, entry of more firms into the industry and they will push the prices down and all the firms in the long run will be earning the normal profits now let me consider the case of the uh, super normal profits first because the firms are making uh, because firms in the industry uh, are making the super normal profit so and they will be uh, producing they will be supplying that amount of the output at, at which the mc is equal to mr so let me consider this case of the short run marginal cost curve one so this is my short run marginal cost curve and the firm will be supplying this amount of the output say for example now let me take up the case up or case of the uh, uh, average cost now uh, average cost curve now uh, say for example this is going to be my average cost 
short run average cost curve of the firm so in this case the firm is uh, earning the uh, uh, super normal profits because uh, the so this is the case of the super normal profits because this is the level of the output and this is the case of the super normal profits because my because the price is more than the cost uh, or the average revenue is more than the uh, 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 cost average cost of the firm so the firms are making the super normal profits in this case and because of this super normal profits the the, the firms uh, will be attracted towards this industry and they will enter into this market and when there is an entry of the firms entry of new firms this will push up this will shift cause a shift in the supply curve and there will be more supply now now let me consider this as the supply curve too so now if there is an increase in the supply or there's a uh, shift in the supply curve the, or increase in the supply the new equilibrium price will be determined we shall push the prices downward say for example this is the new equilibrium this is say for example quantity 1 and this is price 1 so the firms are price takers therefore they are going to take the same price and this is going to be the price is equal to average revenue is equal to the master revenue now uh, firms will supply that amount of the output at which the uh, marginal cost is equal to the average cost because there is an increase in the supply so there is going to be more output mm, uh, uh, that will be produced by the firm so this will be uh, somehow here because more amount of the output uh, because of the entry of the firm so SMC this is going to be the short term marginal cost curve too now uh, uh, similarly there will be uh, the another uh, short run average cost curve so this is going to be my short run average cost curve too so in this case the firm is attaining the normal profits because the, at this price p1 the firms are earning the normal profits now uh, so in this case the uh, the the equilibrium uh, firms will be in the equilibrium when the all the firms in the market are just earning the normal profits and uh, and also the firms are producing at the optimum level of uh, at the, uh, and uh, also the firms will be producing at the minimum point on the their long run average cost curve so if i build up the long run average cost curve which is tangent to the which is tangent to the falling surfaces and also to the rising surfaces of the short short run average cost curves so it is decreasing the long run average cost curve is decreasing uh, and it uh, when it when the long run average cost curve is decreasing it is tangent to the falling surfaces of the short run average cost curve and when the uh, long run average cost curve is rising it is tangent to the rising surfaces of the long run average cost curve so now let me build let me build up the long run average cost curve so the long run average cost curve will be somehow like this so this will be my long run average cost curve so the long run average cost curve is going to be a u-shaped it's going to be uh, first uh, decreasing and then rising and then uh, i can also build by long run uh, long run marginal cost curves like this so the firm will be in equilibrium when the firms are uh, when they all the firms are earning the normal profits and the firms have adjusted their capacity to produce at the lowest or the minimum point on the long run average cost curve so we can say in the long in the long run firms are in the equilibrium and the long run marginal cost curve is equal to long run average cost curve is equal to the price or we can say that the short run marginal cost Curve is equal to the short run the long run marginal cost curve which is equal to the short run average cost curve and the short run long run average cost curve which is equal to the price and which is also equal to the marginal revenue so this is going to be the equilibrium of the firm in